It's Wednesday. You know what that means. It's the start of the epic two-week event. The Clash of the Titans. Here we go. Don't miss Fighter Fest Week 1. A three-way tag team title match. You guys versus you guys versus the Young Bucks. EW Wednesday Night Dynamite. Live tonight at 8 on TBS. It's Wednesday night time to ignite the dynamite, and it is time for an epic two weeks here in AEW. It is Fighter Fest Night 1 tonight from Savannah, Georgia. I'm Alex Abrahantes. She's Dasha Gonzalez. Dasha, I almost didn't even see you. You're like a chameleon girl. <laughs> How did you know? I can hear you. I can hear you. Well, the entire world is going to hear this match. We've got a clash of the titans here tonight. It's a match that has been a long time in the making. Two former tag team partners collide. One represents the Blackpool Combat Club. I'm talking about Claudio Castagnoli. And the other one represents the Jericho Appreciation Society. Jake Hager, what's going to happen here tonight? Ooh, listen, I, I'm really torn because Jake Hager comes with his MMA background. The man is a fighter, but the thing is, though, Claudio is a man of many talents. He's so well-rounded and well-versed. It's It literally is the Clash of the Titans. We're also going to see a match that pits an established veteran versus an up-and-comer when the professor Serena Deeb takes on Anna Jay. Anna Jay is in her home state. She's got the home field advantage here, but she's going against the professor who most definitely wants to teach her a lesson and will teach her a lesson. If anything, Whoever wins this match tonight is going to come out elevated, learning all new tricks, and it's going to be a great match. I think it's going to be highly competitive, fun to watch. Something that's not going to be fun to watch or necessarily listen to is Christian Cage. He's got something to say, and also we've got his monster, Luchasaurus, in action. This is like the third. The man's got a lot to say. He, he talks he a lot. He have a lot. And it's never nice. No, never. And this change of attitudes of his, I mean... I, I can't wait to see what he has to say this week. And I feel bad for whoever's going to face Luchasaurus here tonight. We're also going to be hearing from Chris Jericho based upon what's been going on and with him and Eddie Kingston. I'm sure he's going to have a lot to say too. Another man with many, many words. But the difference is Chris Jericho, he, he's very, he's kind of a legend. I mean, so is Christian Cage. Kind of a legend? He is a legend, Dasha. <laughs> He is a legend. He's the champion. He's a wizard. He's I mean, a wizard. He, he, he'll throw a fireball in your face and not even blink. I like my eyebrows too much. Yeah, you better be careful. No, you, I, you I apologize. You, I apologize, Chris Jericho. Call him a legend. You are a legend, a wizard legend. Fair enough, fair enough. We're also going to be seeing, and this is interesting because this is a match that was put together. It's going to be John Moxley, our AEW Interim World Champion, giving an opportunity. It's going to be an eliminator match. And he's giving that opportunity to Konoski Takeshita based upon the incredible match that he had last week with Eddie Kingston on Rampage. That's the thing about Konoski Takeshita. Every single week we see him, you think he, the man can't improve, and he continues to improve, get better, get faster, get stronger. So this is a huge opportunity for him. Yeah, there's no doubt he is a rising star, a major player in the future. However, he's showing that right now in the present. And if he can defeat John Moxley here tonight and get that opportunity to face Moxley for the interim AEW World Championship, wow, that'd be absolutely amazing. We're also going to be seeing the TNT champion, the brand new TNT champion, Ward Lowe. He is a man who said he's gonna be taking on all comers, and he's gonna be taking on Orange Cassidy, a man who, in my opinion, definitely deserves this title shot. Orange Cassidy surprises everyone, because just when you think, ah, it's gonna be an easy victory, an easy win, the man has beat, speaking of the wizard, twice. Mm -hmm. So you never know what he has in his bag of tricks or his pockets. Uh, true, that's true. You, do, you never do know. You never, and you never know what's on his mind. How do you prepare for somebody that you can't really read their facial expressions? That's a great call. Well, we're also going to be seeing the AEW World Tag Team Championships. They're going to be up on, a line, up on the line in a triple or nothing match. The Young Bucks made the challenge. They said, all right, let's find out who the best team is. It's going to be Swerve in our glory, Keith Lee, Swerve Strickland, and on the other side, you're going to have Team Taz's FTW champion, Ricky Starks, Powerhouse Hobbs. But I mean, can you really bet against the Young Bucks? Nick and Matt, they know all the tricks. They know what to do, when to do it. This is going to be a great matchup. Yeah, it's like the Young Bucks on both sides have like 
power and strength in Hobbs and Keith Lee. And then they've got the agility and quickness from their partner. So it's just going to be wild and crazy. I, I can only see them flying and slamming and throwing. And the way Keith Lee can literally just pick up any human being and chuck them across the ring is so impressive. They are both so agile. It's going to be, I'm going to be on the edge of my seat. I think everybody is. And this is just night one of Fighter Fest. So make sure to tune in. It's going to be one, of course, that you do not want to miss. And we will see you guys tonight at 8, 7 central on TBS. We'll see you in a few.